in this video we'll show you the Bipressing Hotel in the old city area of Chiang Mai. We'll show you the room, the amenities and the amazing rooftop view from the hotel. In the end we'll tell you if we think this hotel is worth it and we'll give you some tips for things to do within the old city of Chiang Mai since you're watching Yes and Explore where we travel smarter, not harder. We've left the Nimen area of Chiang Mai behind us and are ready to go back to our favorite part of Chiang Mai, the old city. The old city is essentially a square that is separated by the rest of the city by a moat and you can even see remnants of the old city wall. Within this square there are numerous hotels, restaurants and interesting places to go and see. We're staying at the Biprasing Hotel, a small-scale boutique-style hotel which is located in the northwestern corner of the old town. Within a 5-minute walk you'll find a 7-Eleven convenience store, numerous restaurants and if you're willing to walk about 10 minutes you'll find a very nice and chill garden with great coffee and delicious strawberry sodas. On to the hotel. We arrived by taxi and in case you're a long time viewer of our channel, this hotel may look familiar to you. We've actually stayed at this place for a month, a little over a year ago. This was when the hotel had just been open for a few days and now we're excited to see if the place is as nice as we remember and to see what things may or may not have changed. Upon entering the building you step into a small reception area. If you take a turn to the left, you'll find seats where you can relax. You can purchase the drinks and snacks that you see here from the hotel. We also found a very nice Dutch souvenir that looked very familiar to us. If you take a right turn instead of a left turn at the reception, you'll end up at the pool of the hotel. It's a very small pool, so no actual swimming can be done, but you can still cool down after a hot day in Chiang Mai. As for the room, we booked a standard twin room and we got one on the ground floor. For the room, we paid 35 euros per night, excluding breakfast. Do note that the hotel doesn't offer any breakfast, so you have to find something for yourself in the morning. So here we are, and as always we're greeted by the lovely Lawrence. We take a turn to the right and the room looks almost the same as we remember it from last time, except this one is the mirror image from our previous room. And right here to our left there is a little mirror. So we step into the room and there's a mirror and they've added some snacks on the table but beware there is a price list so these are not free. This goes for the snacks on the table and the drinks in the mini bar. We booked a room with twin beds but we will push them together so we each have our own little island. We found the firmness of the beds to be good, a little bouncy but not too much. And if we make a turn there's a big TV on the wall. It's a smart TV so you can stream your favorite show and they also offer Thai TV channels now. There's complimentary water and a few amenity kits. We were a little worried about the earplugs because that's usually not a good sign if they offer them. But we weren't disturbed by any outside noise so it's probably for the aircon which is a little louder than usual. What's new is that they've added a price list in case something goes missing or gets damaged. I guess they've had some bad experiences, which is too bad of course. Here we go into the bathroom and you'll find a single sink with a nice amount of space for your stuff, a toilet and a big shower. And right outside the bathroom we have a mystery door that leads to well Nowhere. Um, I wasn't wearing any shoes so I didn't want to go outside but we've checked and there really wasn't anything interesting to see there. But now that we still have your attention, if you're enjoying this video, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We thank you dear viewer. And here is another overview of the room. We did notice a little more wear and tear than last year, although that makes sense since it was brand new at the time. We still enjoyed the room and think that the price we paid is fair for the hotel room that we got. 
The hotel has one more added bonus and that's their wonderful rooftop terrace. With a, well, yes, a regular bathtub. But that's not what we're here for. The view, especially during sunset, is really beautiful from this rooftop. And it's one of the main reasons we came back to this hotel. The other one being the really lovely staff that works there, who are all super nice and helpful. All in all, even though there's a little wear and tear, we do still recommend this hotel since the price is really good for what you get and the location is amazing. Speaking of location, let's give you a few tips on some activities you can do during your stay in the old city. If you're in Chiang Mai on a Sunday, you should not miss the Sunday Night Walking Street, also known as the Sunday Night Market. It starts across from the Pra Sing Temple, at about a 5 minute walk from the hotel, and goes on for the entire street all the way up until Taipei Gate. There are many stalls with everything from souvenirs to postcards and art. Of course, there's also lots of different food to try and there are many pop-up food courts at this market. So you will definitely not go hungry. The second thing we recommend in the old city is to go into one of the many museums about the Lana culture of Chiang Mai. There's a history museum, a clothing museum and a coin museum that are all super interesting and the entrance fee is only around 100 to 150 baht per person. And aside from the temples and the delicious food that you should definitely not miss out on, we also recommend to just roam around the very walkable streets of Chiang Mai and to enjoy the relaxed and friendly vibe of this city. So that's it for this video. In our next video, we'll show you the Royal Orchid Silk Lounge at Chiang Mai Airport before we head back to Bangkok. We want to thank you so much for watching and don't forget that if you want to see more, subscribe to us at Yes and Explore. Bye!